New York is the greatest city on the planet, I think. But if you're not a you're not a New Yorker, if you don't wake up some days and be like, man, fuck this place, like you know. <laughs> um, the player that I enjoyed guarding the most, because he was the most difficult, because of his size and his speed and. More difficult than LeBron? For me, yeah. Um, because you know, it's not maybe myself, uh, Melo, Paul Pierce. That's where we developed it. And our players that, that can shoot the long ball. We have a great big range game. Great post up game. Turn short turn, 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 right shoulder. No, does it all. And he's strong as a bull. And, you know, for me, I'm ready to buck 80. So, right going up against that deer in the hands. It's fun, but it's extremely challenging. Watching LeBron ring get rings and Melo not even being in the NBA Finals. But when we talk about individual talent, Melo's on another level. 6'8", 240, threes, mid-range, mid-range game. Can shoot from the free throw line, can shoot from anywhere, can post up, play with his back to the basket, play with face in the basket. 14 players better than Carmelo Anthony. Somebody needs to be drug tested immediately. Scoring is very addictive, especially when you know you can do it. And you just eat at it, you eat at it, and you feel like nothing can really stop. of Anthony. Anthony for three. Puts it in. Next by one with 8.2 remaining. 